Hello everyone, welcome to the premiere episode of Glitz and Vows, right here on Yard TV. I'm your host Bambi Best and I'm thrilled to have you join me as we embark on this exciting journey together. So on this show, we'll be diving into captivating discussions about love, relationships and marriages. We'll also be talking to the experts who bring that extra sparkle to every wedding. Today I've got two amazing guests here with me. But before I introduce them, let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. and vows. Earlier I mentioned that my guests and I will be exploring the beauty and glamour of weddings from the moments before the vows to all that comes after the vows. So soon to be brides and grooms and already married couples, this show is definitely for you. Then moving on to the topic for the day, the lastly best wedding video of the week. So sit down, relax and enjoy yourself. Today from my left I have Elder Felix Chumesi Boidi who is a counsellor and sitting right next to him is Miss Edgar Amo Hemans, a fashion designer and the CEO of Minahem GH. Welcome to my studio today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll start with you, Miss Hager. Um, as a fashion designer, how would you describe a fashion designer? Who, in, in your own words, who is a fashion designer? Okay. Um, a fashion designer is a professional um, designer who creates clothing footwear accessories and again they sketch they pull together patterns they sort out fabrics and many more so anyone who can do all these things is automatically a fashion designer no okay. there's difference between a seamstress okay. and a fashion designer the fact that you can you can choose fabrics from the market doesn't qualify you to be a fashion designer okay. yes okay. So, can you tell us a bit more about your brand, Minahem Okay. My brand, Minahem GH, focuses on um, bridal garments. Okay. And not when we are talking about bridal garments, we are talking of wedding gowns, engagement, mm -hmm. uh, bridesmaid dresses, um, um, wedding guests, dinner wears. Yes, that's what we mostly um, um, focus on. But we do other garments like the kids wear the official wear the uh, lingerie when we talk about lingerie that's the brazier pants yeah. yes okay. we do we do all that okay. so for what what the genders uh, we are now thinking of um, um the gents yes let me say so it like that just just female. the female okay. garments so how long have you been a fashion designer uh, i've been in the industry for the past five years but uh, in those five years too i was schooled i was in the school and i graduated graduated just uh last week yes oh okay so it has been your passion since or just... no oh i had a passion for um hairdressing but along the line i found myself um at the late pokuya poku mm. yeah, i was the um, workshop managers so okay. from there i developed the interest and here we are today okay that's, that's lovely so have you encountered any challenges since you entered into this field oh yes as as a fashion designer you always come across challenges that's challenges being um sorting out fabrics your clients your um workers and even sometimes even your machines, the machines you work with, mm. you always face challenges. Okay. Yes. So apart from those challenges, you don't. Uh, what particular thing have you encountered that was really a challenge to you? A challenge to me that was um, producing um, wedding dresses for my own cousin. Mm -hmm. It was a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. Imagine working for someone that you are not going to take anything from, or you are not going to charge. So I produced her wedding gown three months to time. Oh, she was happy, but I think a week or three days to her wedding, she came to fit her, her, her Sunday dress. So she was like, oh, I think I'm in love with my Sunday dress. 
and i think i'll wear that for my wedding that was three days to her wedding i was like how can you wear your sunday dress to your wedding so in that case what do i do so you sold both dresses for her I sold about five to six dresses for her, oh. starting from her pre-wedding photo shoots, her dinner wear, her wedding gown, in fact, even the kits. Okay. I did everything. Okay. And just three days to her wedding, she said, I want to wear my wedding gown. Wow. So I had to look for an alternative that's replacing the wedding gown within three days. Three days. And imagine working on wedding gown. So you did that for her? I did it for her. Wow. And she was happy. <laughs> okay, so how do you respond to these challenges and criticisms from people? Mm, as a designer, all I have to do is, first I need to calm myself down, think through matters, then decide on the next action. Mm. It's either I will treat the first gown, or I'll replace the gown. So, so I don't ruin her day. You're always going to go for the clients. The clients always buy to you. That's, um, every client is right. It doesn't work for me. Oh, okay. Every client isn't right. Because some of the clients, they intentionally mm. misbehave just to tarnish your image. Mm. So when, when it happens like that, you also let them know you know your work. If you give them the chance, they will ruin your reputation. And I don't give such chances. Okay. Okay. Yes. So what has been your favorite and your least, your least part of being a fashion designer? Huh? The least. Let's, let's first focus on the least. Being a fashion designer, one, getting time for myself is a bit challenging. Sometimes you don't get time to eat. Time to eat. You don't have some. You need to go here. They call you here. You go there. It's it's a very tough. But at the end of the day, when you see your dress or when you see the garment on the bride, it all tends to joy, happiness. That's, favorite that's my favorite part. Seeing my garment on my on my clients. Yes, that's my favorite part. Okay. So, um, which is expensive? Is it a wedding, uh, a white wedding dress, or the traditional wedding dress, or the reception, the reception dress? Um, I would say none is expensive and none is cheap. As I said, all all boils up to individual preferences. Some would prefer a cheap, a cheap um, um, fabric for the gown. Some would prefer you buy something expensive. It all depends on the clients. If you want it cheap, you get it cheap. If you want it expensive, you get it expensive. So none is expensive. It all depends on you, the clients, so what you want, you what you choose. Okay. So how much work goes into these dresses? A lot, because let's look now. Um, corset is trending. Let's look at corsets. Corset itself, it's a, it, getting the fabrics for the corset is expensive. You, you need to get the corset stiff, the corset net, the boning, all is expensive. So a lot, plus the beading. Beading is the most expensive. Yeah. Because you have a beading, um, beading that will cost about 10000 mm. If I bid your dress, it will cost about 10000 Why would you go for such an expensive mm -hmm. garment? It looks like the lapel has something to say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, according to you, that you should choose according to what. Yes, check your pocket, not choose what will benefit to you. Mm. Yes. Okay, so when should one contact you ahead of their wedding? Day? Oh, I think four, three to four months. Mm -hmm. Because I need to go to the market, sort out fabrics, um, choose your designs meet you for your measurements um, all is time consuming so you need to i mean three to four months is okay so miss Ega, how much work is being put into these dresses a lot of work looking at the beads work looking at um um applique applique uh, it's all work 
applique can take about a week or two same applies to beat work yes so i think um choosing your 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 date or three to four months for your for your garments um is the best decision yeah so we have to contact you ahead ahead of time three, three to four months, four months. Only if i'm a new property bride and i'm getting married in the next two weeks or one month good when it comes to impromptu bride or let's take two weeks or even one week okay. uh, you the client needs to work hand in hand with your designer because choosing fabric it's a whole lot of work aside choosing the fabric choosing design too it's a whole lot of work so you need to work hand in hand with your designer so you can choose the best design and fabric as soon as possible okay. yes so you can make the dress that you can make within three months within that one week you can make it as beautiful as that we can even use just a day to produce wedding gown okay okay yes interesting so what lessons have you learned in this field i've learned a lot and that's family working for my family not again but families they don't pay i'm telling you they don't oh yes they don't pay they I, don't I pay <laughs> wow i'm surprised why why oh that one surprised having difficult working for your family mm. yes <laughs> they don't pay wow. families listen oh, no, listen let me, let me ask you who took care of you to me, I took care of myself. Through wow. school. Oh, yes. Maybe you all said that is why you are lying. No, 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 no. no. Oh, wow. I took care of myself through school. So, and, and I didn't take that decision because I took care of myself. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, this one there, I'm not listening. It's wrong in the first place. You need to say that. Even if your mother is watching you, no, she will even be happy. No, no, she will even be happy because listen, How? families they do families <laughs> they will bring you down. How? How they will bring you down when they get the money, they will rather go somewhere. They will patronize you. Trust me on that. They would always love to get it free from you. But giving you the money, they will prefer going outside. Sure. Oh yes. Maybe they may have a reason. You know, sometimes it happens like most of the fashion design when it comes to homeworks, mm -hmm. they, they, they does it. Oh, I don't have time. I have some mm -hmm. other things to do. Some people so are important than ours. So sometimes you, you put people first. Yes. So sometimes if you are saying that they, they, they go and pay outside. I'm coming. Let's assume. A client is paying me about fifteen thousand for a, a, a dress, okay. and the family is paying, let's take hundred cities. Would you tell me to put the client's dress down and so for a family for free? No. Oh. But by this way, do you know that the family also helps us? You know. But she's making a point though. If I'm. No, 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 no. You can't compare <laughs> money to your family. To your family. You understand? Mm. Family yes, family. family, they do say blood is blood. Blood is blood. But when you come to the fashion industry, you understand that blood is not blood. Really? Oh, yes, blood is not blood. This is I business. Don't, I, don't, I don't agree with you. This is business. <laughs> you have to agree with me. Business is business. I don't, I don't agree with you. Really? The business is business. Mm. Why in this life, when you are dying, the family that will hold you, and you are saying that you, have, you find it difficult working for your family? Maybe to me. Okay. Maybe to me. Others will work for them. But me, it works for me. I, I it works for me. Your perception. Oh, no. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good as a, as a, a fashion. But, but it works for me. No, it works for me. Wow. It works for me. It saves you from a whole lot of drama. Mm. Trust me on that. It saves you from drama. Okay. 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 
So I think that works for her. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's also express. Yeah, yeah, also express himself. So can you give us some um, advice you have for your fellow designers and clients as well? Soon? Okay. So um, what I would tell my fellow designers or upcoming designers is that um always communicate with your clients communication is very much important in our business Mm -hmm. yes so always always Mm -hmm. they should communicate with their clients clients. and to um uh, upcoming brights or incoming brights or whatever what i'll tell them is we hit pressure (laughs) last minute pressure it's not good Mm -hmm. so always they should try and I mean, bring in their, their fabrics in time. Okay. Yes, yes. That's the advice okay. I will give to them. Yeah. Okay, guys. So you heard me say that loud and clear. Clients said we should what? Always. Always. Yes, bring in. time. Yes. We should be patient for the fashion design. They will do their work. So just be patient. So that will be all for this segment. We have a lot more in store for you. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. back from that short break if you are just joining me this is still glitz and vows so earlier we had a conversation with miss hager where she enlightened us about wedding dresses and a whole lot more but right now it is time for the topic of the day and this is from a troubled bride to be let's listen to her hi bambi my name is ajwa mm. I'm in a serious dilemma, and I don't know what to do. I'm the only child of my parents. My mom is a doctor, my dad is a pastor. My dad has presided over 100 weddings, and has always promised to pay for all my wedding expenses. My mom, my doctor, has always wished to see me smile and dance with Ma, dance with me on my wedding day. Sometimes she passes dancer in her at home and play around. She can't wait to bless me on my wedding day. I, myself, know how important this day is and will be glad to have a dream wedding since I can afford as doctor. But my husband-to-be, a lecturer, insists on just court ceremony since he doesn't like anything flamboyant. In fact, Bambi, I'm confused. I don't know what to do since he has refused to listen to me. Please, money is not the issue. I love my face so much. Please help me out, Bambi. Okay, so all your fellas you heard Ajua. What do you have to say? What advice do you have to give to her? Okay. Thank you, pretty Bambi. Uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity. Uh, as your uh, guest panelist. Uh, let me uh, shout out to my beautiful wife. <laughs> you know how it is, you know, and it's, you know, they are part of us, so you know, if I, I, I don't I don't beat her, there will be trouble. There will be trouble. There will be trouble. So let me say hi. Yeah. I feel it. I like salute you. I'm really, really impressed. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me also shout out to uh, my senior pastor and the founder of Global Associates. Okay. Uh, Apostle uh, Fernis Kwame Apiate. Papa, I salute you. And also, shout out to my bro in the US, Pafeli. Pafeli, I salute you wherever you are. I salute you, bro. Yeah. <sighs> it's hard, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm even, I don't know what to say. A whole pastor. You know, me as an elder, this is our, our own. Yes. I don't know even what to say. <laughs> Amen. But, you know, one thing we need to know a marriage, when you go to the book of uh, Genesis as the beginning of the first book in the Bible. Yes. Uh, when we read, let me read the scripture. Genesis chapter 2, the verse number 18. He said that, and the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. Mm-hmm. I will make a helper suitable for him. Amen. Amen. You see, so you see the key word here, suitable. So when it comes to marriage, you need to get someone who is suitable, a right partner. Listen to the lady. I think he has found a, a, a nice gentleman as a lecturer, right? Yes. A lecturer. Yes. And you know how lecturers are. Sometimes, you know, 
and then you don't want anything from boy and to. A minio, you understand? A <laughs> minio. Nothing is there. Okay. You understand? But you know, you know how we are, we've all gotten married. And we know how it went through. You know, even as a man, you need to, you know, also for us more. I mean, I don't want things mm -hmm. to be so, yeah. Some is not there. You get it? Some is not there. But, you know, when it comes to love, it's not easy. And when it comes to love, family matters because marriage is not only one person. Mm. Also, the family also involved. Amen. But when it comes to the things that goes into it, you know, families comes in for the blessing. Mm. Yes, indeed, I've given my daughter to you. That is where they come in. But the other things that goes into it is between both of you. It's, it's only the man. Who takes the responsibility? So in this situation, the lady has to be a man. He has to be a man. He has to choose what is right. Because where he is going, the parent is not going to be there. That lifestyle that the family are guilty. Because what I heard is that he's the only daughter. And so what? But according to her too, she has the means to have a beautiful wedding like that. No, whoa, 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 so she's a doctor. It, it doesn't matter. Mm. What what beautiful are you looking for? I know marriages, nice marriages, mercy names mm. come to the social media. You see big, big, big marriages. Mm -hmm. You know, they did a first class marriage. Mercy names. But where is it? Mm. One year. Some people are not living in one year, some few years, months. Boom. Collapse. Collapse. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it's not a matter of the things that goes into it. It's a matter of understanding. You know, marriage is understanding. Okay. You need to understand the man. Mm -hmm. That is what he wants. Mm -hmm. Because when, when it becomes more too much people, eyes on it, and all that, you know, marriage is also spiritual. Marriage, when it comes to the body of Christ and we the Christians, marriage is spiritual. And if you are not careful, how you go about it, you don't know the eyes. You don't know the eyes. So even many people whose marriages have last, they, 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 they did it under the carpet. Nobody saw it. Very slow. I've married for seven good years. Yeah, indeed. I had a nice marriage. You know, I had this challenge. I, I went through. I went through. You know, I marry a Francis. You know, Francis. I, I like you before. Me. <laughs> Shout out to Francis. <laughs> Thank Shout you. Out to Francis. I, I love them. They are beautiful women. <laughs> so, the same thing happens to me. I'm a young boy. I don't have anything. Young boy, started life, you know, doing the work of God. And you know how it is, you know, Charlie, marry, marry, if not the ladies will worry you. I don't want nothing. And my wife too, their family also has something. And they wanted to detect for me. Do this when I said to my wife that woman, you need have I saw you, I didn't see your mother. <laughs> you need have, I saw you. So if you are going to listen to your father and your parents, this marriage will not work. No, it will, it will not even come. It will not even work. It will not, it will not, it will not even come. So please, and I, I took my way. Not my way. I went through my own means because that was what I had. And indeed, I went through. So uh, the lady should be a man. Let me use a man. Because a man qualifies women both as man, you have to be man. Because he said that a man will leave his what? His parents, father's house. And join who? His wife. His wife. Okay. okay. So your, your advice is she should be the man yeah. and understand the, um, her, right, the, her groom. Mm -hmm. Yes. And whatever decision he wants, they yes. should both come together. Okay, so Miss what do you have to say? Okay, I'll seize this opportunity to also um, greet my family. 
Ah, 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 so, we're talking about business, you know, we're talking about now. This, this one is different. We are talking about greeting, not business. So, um, a friend said, Mommy and Daddy, um, God bless you for everything. Shout out to Dr. Miriam. Babe, I love you so much. Uh, oh, it's a female, Dr. Miriam. Miriam Eklo. I love you, baby girl. Thank you. And to the Benahem team, thank you so much for bringing me thus far. And back to your question, um, I think as uh, Pastor Chum said, the lady needs to set up and take decision on her own. Because um, even though I'm not married, but I know um, as a designer, I deal with um, mostly these issues. Sometimes I don't want big gown, I don't want small gown, I don't, it's all part of our job. And um, what I would say, they should sit down and talk about it. It's not about family. It's about the two of them. That wedding she wants to have, they could as well add that money. Bear in mind, they are going to bring uh, uh, um, um, children. They are going to give birth. And these children will go to school. Those children will eat. Diapers. A lecturer. How much is his salary? Do you get it? So I think she should agree with the man and have a small wedding. Because when, he, when she goes to the house, the family wouldn't be there for her. She can't go to the family, mommy, daddy, give me money to go and feed my kids. So she needs to understand the man. And have a small wedding. That, that's my opinion. Okay, so Adjoa, you heard my guests, they're giving you the best advice. Now it's up to you to do what you want to do and have the best wedding and the best marriage. Okay, so right, right about now, we are moving straight. Yes, before you move on, okay. I, I want to add something to it. Okay. You know, there is a saying that if you are eating with a rich man, it's like putting what? Educate us on yeah. that. Oh, yeah. If you are eating with a rich man, mm -hmm. it's like what? Putting what? A, a knife. knife. I your Because the man here, if he goes by the plan of the parent, hmm, right now you have opened a big door for him now he's becoming big big you have to do big big things mm -hmm. and you don't have that means what will happen to him right now you become a liar yes and you'll be stealing yes. you'll be doing all sorts of things mm -hmm. so you, sometimes you, we need to live on our own mm -hmm. means okay. Okay. so that is it let's move straight into the best wedding video for the week
hope you also enjoyed it. So that'll be all for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching and thank you, Miss Hager and Elder Felix for joining me in my series. You're welcome. Okay. So guys, that'll be all for today's episode. I learned a lot today. As a single lady yet to get married, I learned a lot. I hope you also did. So catch you same time next week. Have a lovely day.